Guys, we're going to do a beautiful roast lamb, easy gravy. We're going to do an amazing Italian version of a kind of mint sauce that you're going to absolutely love. So first things first, got a leg of lamb from your butchers. If you love good food, it's all about the leg. Now, flavours. Um, rosemary, beautiful. Just pick off some little sprues. Rosemary and lamb, two peas in a pod. Really, really good. Three cloves of garlic. Slice the garlic like that. Got the garlic there. Got our rosemary there. And there's one more flavour that's absolutely going to divide you people, but you've got to trust me. Anchovies. Now, some of you will be going, oh, I don't like anchovies. They smell fishy and all that old business. It's not there to be, like, a particular flavour. It's there to be a seasoning. If you're clever about it, you'll never, ever taste it. Slice up the anchovy into, like, little thin bits. So there's your three flavours. Then, if you look at the leg of lamb here, can you see how it's kind of red here and white here? And that's basically where the separate little bits of meat kind of join. So what I want to do quite sort of, you know, bravely is get the tip of this knife here and just stick it in and give it a little twist up in between those little gaps. And then you can stick your finger in and then get one little piece of anchovy, one little piece of rosemary and one little fleck of garlic. And what happens in these is when the lamb cooks, the fat kind of starts to melt that makes the, the rosemary fry and the anchovy completely disperses into sort of like a juice. And of course the garlic sort of thundering away, giving it a good old hum of flavour. You can even nick some of this anchovy oil and just put a little bit over the top and have a good old slap around. Get yourself some salt and a little pepper. Look at that. Beautiful leg of lamb. Put your roasted meat on top of the rack now. The hot air can kind of get all around the lamb and roast the whole thing quite evenly. What we can do is we can prepare for the most incredible gravy. Get two or three onions, peel them, half them, slice them up. As that lamb cooks, all the lovely sort of sticky goodness comes out of it. And things like onions, when they roast, or slowly cooked, they go sweet and delicious and sort of jammy and gorgeous. So I'm going to put um, all the leftover bits of garlic, anchovy, rosemary and all of the onions. I'm going to put that straight into the tray. Cook it for an hour, hour and a half. That is going to give us the preparation to make an incredible and easy gravy. Look at that, beautiful. So we've got all those lovely, sweet, caramelised onions and stuff. Get rid of as much fat as you can, and you'll be left with about a tablespoon in the tray. Looking good. All we have to do to make this gold now is like a heaped tablespoon of flour. I'm going to whack it straight on a medium-high heat. I'll break that frying with half a wine glass of red wine. So give it a little shake up. The wine will cook away. You can see immediately it's starting to thicken. This is like the secret ingredient uh, with any dark meat. A little bit of jam like this going in will just bring all of those flavours together. It's going to be really, really good. And I'll give it a little move around like this. Pint of chicken stock. And then you have a lovely onion gravy. So I'm going to turn it down to sort of medium low. It will start ticking away. When it looks good, it's ready to eat. You might just want to season it with salt and pepper. Let's come back to this lamb here. You can actually pour out any juice straight in the gravy, that will help to give it flavour and thicken it. So, what I want to do for this lamb is make a really good sauce. It's called Salsa Verde. If you like mint sauce, this is another world. I'm going to use a little chopper, bunch of mint, parsley, a little half clove of garlic, one anchovy fillet, one little gherkin in there, capers, just a tiny little teaspoon. What I want to do is just chop it up, You can see in there that's nice and fine, nice and rustic. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of good olive oil, a little teaspoon of mustard, a pinch of salt and pepper, and a swig of red wine vinegar, about a teaspoon and a half. Right? And honestly, it turns literally everything you put it on savoury into something beautiful. So salsa verde is done, the lamb is done. I'm serving this beautiful dish 
with some smashed vegetables. Swede and potatoes. Push that down like there to one side. Bosh, my lovely roast lamb, like that. We've got beautiful gravy. A lovely new look at roast lamb, smashed veg, salsa verde, and beautiful onion gravy. Gorgeous. If you love this, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you very much, bye.